This, this is about as close to woodworkers you can do in these places. And that's all they allow. Steve brought a bunch of these sucker sticks. I had to do something with glue and sucker sticks together, so basically that's what we did. It just got a hold of me and uh, just became a hobby. Kenny, Kenny is the youngest. I think it was 1984. My son bought 37 acres of that mountainous area in Montana. He wanted to put something on it, so he called me and said, hey, come out, we're gonna start a cabin. And we started by digging holes and pouring concrete and put the posts in for support. Then we started building the floor and proceeded with the, the four walls. We pitched the tent and live in the tent while we was building this, this cabin there. We was out there, I, I think three weeks. Everything I had to come off the top of my head, so it's nothing but a big square cabin. That one was 12 wide here in the front by 14, just a couple foot longer on the sides. Real nice little, little place to get in and out of the weather. There was no need to go very high, because that would be quite a, quite a roof that snow could collect on. We put a stack through the roof so we could have a stove. I'd say the roof was the, really the simplest part. That one shed developed a whole community. There wasn't any other buildings around. And now I don't know whether you can find that or not. They took me back there one time, but uh, the, it was growing up and developed so much all the way around our cabin that I couldn't even find my cabin. So it's probably ended up to be somebody's garage. We were entirely proud of it. We lived in there for, I think, a grand total of three days. But he brought his wife out, and she took one look at it, and I think lived in it one day, and then she didn't want to live in it. She had him buy a place in uh, Three Forks, Montana. He bought a house that set up on the, a high ledge on the hill and uh, established his family there in that place. We just started out to build a square cabin 12 feet wide and 14 feet long. It was the most inspiring experience of my life. <laughs>